I am your host, Captain Boring. This is your 10-minute sports report for Monday, December 18th, 2023. It's a new week. I hope everyone had a fabulous one, uh, a weekend, I should say. Hope everyone had a fab- fabulous one and a kickoff to the week of Christmas. Christmas is only seven days away. It is hard to believe, but it is here. So I'm very excited for it. As always, comment down below SZN for the Christmas season. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Go follow us on YouTube at Fourth One Podcast. By the way, I tried streaming for the very first time. That ha- dropped yesterday. I will be streaming a Bears franchise that me and not CFP insider Roberto are doing. By the way, this Friday, but Thursday, Friday, I'm not sure. This Thursday or Friday, later this week, new podcast, fourth one podcast episode drops. Tune in. Brand new nickname for not CFP insider Roberto will be revealed. So tune into that. Um, if you like watching people play Madden and be only half decent at it, at it, please go check in, uh, check that out. Um, and just drop a like on there as well. So I got a a lot of stuff. Let's get on rolling. All righty. So college football, we are in the smack dab middle of bowl season. It started last Saturday, the 16th of December. Georgia Southern took on Ohio and just gaslighted them mofos all the way to a 41 to 21 win. Yes, I know I use gaslighting wrong, but... It is what it is. Um, in the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl, Jacksonville State beat Louisiana Monroe in overtime, thirty-four to thirty-one. In the Avocados from Mexico Cure Bowl, Miami of Ohio and Appalachian State played. Appalachian State beat Miami of Ohio thirteen to nine. In the Isleta New Mexico Bowl, New Mexico. State State, took on Fresno State and lost 37-10. to In the Starco Brands LA Bowl, UCLA defeated Boise State 35-22. In the Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl, California lost to Texas Tech 34-14. And currently in the famous Toastery Bowl, Western Kentucky and Old Dominion are playing, and the score of that currently is 35-21 Old Dominion there. So uh, coming up tomorrow, UTSA takes on Marshall. Thursday, South Florida takes on Syracuse, and Friday, Georgia Tech takes on UCF. So I will have on Wednesday if I do this, or Thursday whenever, I will have Tuesday and Thursday's scores for you. NFL's coming down the home stretch here into the playoffs. People are battling for positions. Only like three weeks left, ladies and gentlemen, of that after this week. We still have one game to go, but it all started Thursday night. The Los Angeles Chargers went to the Las Vegas Raiders and got dismantled 63-21. to 20. One, um, the Las Vegas Chargers are a little bit on a um, hot streak here. I will take you to the standings just in a minute. On Saturday, because no college football, Minnesota uh, went on the road to Cincinnati. Jake Browning threw for 324 yards in a 27-24 overtime win. Pittsburgh walked into Indianapolis and just got curb stomped by the Colts. 30 to 13. Gardner Minshew threw for 215. And then then in the nightcap, the Pac-12 after dark, if you were, if you were, Denver walked into Detroit and I don't know what's worse than curb stomped, but they got whatever that is by the Detroit Lions. 42-17. Jared Goff had 278 passing yards. Amon Ra St. Brown added 112 receiving yards. Then on Sunday, 
in a very exciting game that could have gone the other way. Uh, Hail Mary at the end that fell in the lap of the receiver, but he was falling over. He couldn't quite reel it in. Um, the Cleveland Browns beat the Chicago Bears a 17 or 20 to 17. Baker Mayfield is the first ever visiting quarterback at Lambeau Field to have a perfect passer rating, 158.3. Don't ask me why that's the perfect passer rating. Uh, as Tampa Bay defeats Green Bay 34-20. to 20. The Houston Texans beat the Tennessee Titans 19-16 in overtime. The Miami Dolphins just took apart the Jets 30 to nothing. The Kansas City Chiefs went into New England and beat them up 27 to 17. The New York Giants went to New Orleans and got mollywhopped themselves 24 to 6. In games where tickets were at low as low as 50 cents at one point and I found them as low as $4, the Atlanta Falcons went to Carolina and lost. The worst team in the league, they lost 9 to 7. Number 1 overall Bryce Pick, Bryce Young Number one overall pick, Bryce Young, had 167 passing yards. The Washington Commanders went to the Los Angeles Rams and lost 28-20. to San Francisco just demolished Arizona 45-29. Dallas got curb whacked. 31-10, and it wasn't even that close. Like the after coming off a week of just dominating the Eagles, the Buffalo Bills just did the exact same, if not worse, to the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys just didn't show up last night. And then finally, Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens clinch a playoff berth, defeating the Jacksonville Jaguars 23-7. Tonight, the Philadelphia Eagles look to stop their two-game skid as they travel to Seattle and take on the Seahawks. In the standings, let's just look at those real quick and then move on to hockey and get you on out of here. So currently, the Baltimore Ravens have clinched a playoff berth and are currently in the number one seed at 11-3. and three. Number one seed gets first round by everyone plays that first wild card weekend. Dolphins two, Chiefs are three. Dolphins nine and four, Chiefs. Dolphins 10 and 4, Chiefs 9 and 5. Don't look at two different numbers and speak. Jaguars are 8 and 6, but the Colts are also 8 and 6. I'll get to them in a minute. They're the 4 seed. So those are your division leaders, your top 4. Number 5 is the Cleveland Browns, number 6 is the Cincinnati Bengals 8 and 6. The Colts are also 8 and 6. So tied with the Jaguars, Jaguars hold currently the tiebreaker. Also at 8-6 and six are the Houston Texans. Also at 8-6 and six are the Buffalo Bills. At 7-7 seven and seven are the Steelers. At 7-7 seven and seven are the Broncos. At 6-8 and eight are the Raiders. And those are 12. And I'll kind of stop there because that's all that it is right now. If you have any more than eight losses, probably not a playoff team. Um, but however, the Chargers at 5-9 and nine technically still have not been eliminated from the playoffs. In the NFC, the San Francisco 49ers have clinched their division. They are in. They are 11-3, and three, currently in the number one seed. The number two seed with the loss by the Cowboys, <coughs> excuse me, are the Philadelphia Eagles. At 10-4 and four are the Lions that are the three. At the four seed are the 7-7 seven and seven Tampa Bay Buccaneers. At the five seed are the Dallas Cowboys. The Eagles and Cowboys both have clinched a playoff spot spot it's just seeding at this point minnesota vikings are six at are the six seed at seven and seven the rams are the seven seed their last team in they would take on the eagles first round at seven and seven the eight the saints are in eighth at seven and seven this seattle seahawks are nine six and seven the falcons are in 10th six and eight packers 11 six and eight uh, you can see what I'm doing. Giants five and nine. Bears five and nine. Um, the Bears technically still are in it as the thirteenth seed, and they can still get up there. However, like I said, anything below more than eight losses, you probably don't have a realistic shot. Eagles win tonight. They keep the two seed as of right now. They lose tonight. They go back to five. So the Eagles need to take care of business there. All righty, flip over to the NBA schedule. So on Friday night, because that's where I did my sports report last, let me get you caught up. Detroit walked into Philadelphia and lost 124-92. Joel Embiid had 35 points. By the way, um, Detroit, that that was like their 23rd straight loss or something like that. Um, That was the only team that played last night, sat or on Friday night, Saturday. 
Philadelphia walked into Charlotte and beat them 135 to 82. Embiid had 42 points. Um, Oklahoma City went to the Denver Nuggets on Saturday and won 118 to 117. And the Atlanta Hawks went to Cleveland and lost 127 to 119. On Sunday, as my phone just decides to... I don't even know what it decided to do there. Um, On Sunday, none of the teams we follow played. And then tonight, Monday, Chicago travels to Philadelphia to take on the Sixers. Denver hosts the Mavericks. And Cleveland hosts Houston. The standings-wise... Standing-wise, number one seed in the East is still the Boston Celtics. The Philadelphia 76ers are 8-2. and two. The th- top three seeds in the Eastern Conference in their last 10 games are all 8-2. and two. Philadelphia, though, is the hottest in terms of win streak. They've won six straight. Celtics have won five straight. Bucks have won four straight. Sixers have won six straight. Milwaukee's a game and a half back of Boston. S- the Sixers are two games back of Boston and then they and then the fourth team the Magic are four games back. The Cleveland Cavaliers shocker are the eighth seed once again. They're six and four in their last ten and they won just one game. They are six and a half back of first place. In the Western Conference, the Nuggets are six and four in their last ten. They're currently the fourth seed, three and a half games back of the Minnesota Timberwolves. However, three games back of the Minnesota Timberwolves are the Thunder. The Mavericks are three and a half back. So really there's a half game between the four and the two seed currently. And there's only one game in between the four and the seven seed as well. So lots of basketball still to play. Things don't really get interesting until end of February, March, and then standings kind of heat up there. Uh, That is the same for hockey. It's just how long the seasons go. So on Friday night, again, if I need to cover different hockey teams, because two out of the four teams I'm covering are just the worst teams in the NHL. Two of the worst teams in the NHL. On Friday night, case in point, the Anaheim Ducks went to the Rangers in New York and got thrashed 5 to one uh, um, Also, Buffalo went to Vegas and won 5-2 to two on Friday night. Saturday night, Colorado Avalanche had a tough time against the third-place team in their division, Western Conference Central. The Winnipeg Jets hosted the Colorado Avalanche and just beat them six to two. And it wasn't even that close. Uh, the Kraken hosted the LA Kings and lost three to two in a shootout. And that take uh, place for Saturday, Sunday, Colorado had a nice bounce back against San Jose. They won six to two Vegas hosted Ottawa and won six to three Anaheim traveled to New Jersey and won five to one standing times. And then bye-bye music standing times and bye-bye music produces this the Colorado avalanche. Somehow they are four, four and two in their last 10 games. They are have only won one straight game. They are 19, 10 and two, but, they have 40 points. They are two points ahead of the Winnipeg Jets, who, again, beat them. And the Dallas Stars, who also have uh, 38 points. And the Nashville Predators are also up there with 36. So holding a slim lead there. In the Western Conference Pacific, the Vegas Golden Knights are 7-1-2 and two in their last 10. They won their last game. They are 26 26- 21, 6, and 5, 47 points. Three points up on the Vancouver Canucks, who are 21, 9, and 2. So a little more breathing room there. In the Eastern Conference, your leaders are in the Eastern Conference Atlantic. Your leaders are the Boston Bruins, who are 5, 3, and 2 in their last 10. In the Metropolitan, it is the New York Rangers at 21, 7, and 1 with 43 points. They're 6 and 4 in their last 10. By the way, the Philadelphia Flyers, 17, 10, and 3, 37.7, 1, and 2, and on a two game winning streak. So that'll do it for today's rendition of the 10 Minute Sports Report. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share it with your family and friends if you so choose. These are uh, 15 minutes today. I won't blabble on anymore. I pray God blesses you. Uh, Know that God loves you. Wash those hands because y'all are filthy animals. Um, And I'll talk to you later this week. Bye-bye.